A lot of teams really like DBT Core because of its ability to be customized. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it. But a lot of automation and things that you're gonna commonly do are already pre-built in DBT Cloud for you. And considering you get a free for life developer seat, you know, why wouldn't you take advantage of this? So in today's video, what I wanna do is talk about a few of the most helpful, at least in my opinion, features of DBT Cloud that you get for free with the free for life developer seat. And hopefully that'll help you save some time and just make your life as a developer with DBT a little bit easier. So the first one is being able to monitor your data source freshness because really no data team wants their data to be found as stale or not updated. It's probably the worst thing that can happen, especially if you find your stakeholders finding it first, it's just gonna kill confidence for your team and make them question if you're really paying attention. So what you can do here is add the source freshness checks to your code and I have another video uh, that explains how to do that specifically in code. But on DBT Cloud, it'll give you a nice interface so you can see how everything looks at a, what a quick glance. You could add it into your jobs to run on a schedule and be notified right away if that check fails and it'll send you right to the UI. So it's a nice way to do it and just make sure that your data sources are never caught off guard. The next feature has to do with documentation and in particular hosting documentation because ultimately we are data engineers, we're not web developers and as great as the documentation functionality is, and there's a couple of commands that make it easy, the truth is you have to host it somewhere. And that just can get a little bit tricky, but with DBT Cloud, you can very easily host it directly on their site. So kind of like with source freshness, with monitoring your data sources, you can indicate a couple settings in the DBT job itself, indicate that you wanna generate the docs, and then within the UI itself, you go to the documentation tab, and. There it is, it's a hosted documentation for you. You don't have to do anything else. And every time your job runs, it'll keep that documentation up to date as well. So once you add something new, you add some new documentation, you add new models, assuming it's merged to your main branch, the next time it runs, it's gonna pick it up and your documentation will be updated. Nothing else for you to really think about or have to adjust. Now, the last one I'll talk about to me is the most helpful one and the one that removes the most complexity, which is enabling CI checks. So the way you would do this, let's say without DBT Cloud is within your GitHub project or GitLab or whichever platform you use, you would create a workflow or a pipeline file that anytime you had a merge or a pull request, it's going to look at your latest changes and it will deploy it and test it at a very specific location in your data warehouse. And all this will be based on your settings, kind of how you decide you want to do this. But the difference here is you have to determine where you're going to hold the most recent manifest to review the latest version of your project and compare the two. So there's just a couple more steps. Again, it's not impossible and it's pretty common, but it does add a little more complexity and it's something more for you to manage. With DBT Cloud, if you enable this setting, the enable CI, really all you need to do is indicate which job is holding the latest version of your manifest. So typically that would be, let's say a daily production run. You take the manifest from the latest production run and compare it to the changes currently being requested for a merge. And not only will it compare those two, but it's going to deploy to a specific DBT cloud PR data set or schema so that it's isolated from everything else. And you know this is exactly coming from DBT Cloud. So you can review the, those specific changes as part of that PR. And then finally, what it's gonna do is, you know, after I think it's maybe three or four hours, goes through and DBT Cloud will automatically drop those temporary data sets, schemas for you, so you don't have to do anything and it's kind of seamless for you. So to me, the DBT Cloud free for life developer seat is really a gem. I mean, it's got a ton of great functionality. And the three that I think are most helpful that I would recommend checking out, monitoring your data sources, hosting your documentation and enabling the automatic CI checks for your PRs. So I hope you found this helpful. If you are new to DBT and wanna have a little bit more guidance on getting set up or just wanna learn a little bit more about it, I have a free guide, I call it the starter guide for DBT. I'll leave a link in the description. And until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.